If you carve a notch into a high water source, water can easily flow downward to irrigate tiered rice fields. But what if the water source is at the bottom of the mountain? You'd be stuck carrying heavy buckets up steep narrow paths. Your shoulders would blister, your clothes soaked in sweat, and yet only a few fields would get watered. Is there a way to make the water climb uphill on its own? You get an idea, build a long wooden trough up the slope, tie a rope to a bucket, and pull it up. That saves you the climb, but it's still just one bucket at a time. Then you think, why not string several buckets together like beads? Now one pull brings up multiple buckets, far more efficient, but once those buckets are full, they become too heavy to lift, your arms ache, you're exhausted, so you install a pulley like the ones used to draw water from a well, using leverage to lift them more easily, yet the system is clunky, you still have to unwind the rope manually each time, that's when you get your next idea, attach a second wheel near the water source, loop the rope around both ends, now it's a continuous loop, but the heavy buckets keep jamming the system, so you swap them out for lightweight bamboo tubes, and now, you don't even need the big wooden trough, you simply stand at the top, spin the wheel, and like a dragon chasing its tail, the rope begins to dance. The bamboo tubes dip into the water below, fill up, and rise steadily. When they reach the top, they tilt and pour, sending water into the highest field. From there, gravity takes over, irrigating every level top to bottom. Congratulations, you've just invented the high-altitude bamboo water wheel. Bamboo carries the water, wooden wheels spin with the earth, it brings the valley spring to the mountain's crown, turning cliffs into fields. This is the ancient wisdom of Chinese inventors, working with nature, not against it.